every single one of us has a duty or at least an opportunity to, to get tested ourselves to make it easier for everybody else to get tested. And then it just becomes a regular thing like anything else. But if we're not getting tested and we're like, oh, you know, HIV, that's not, that, how could that possibly affect me? That's affecting, you know, people over there. And it's like, no, it could affect you. I think once you get to meet people and you see the suffering around the world, you can't turn, I certainly can't turn my back on that. Then add in the fact that my mum's work was unfinished. I feel obligated to try and continue that as much as possible. I could never, you know, fill her shoes, especially in, in this particular space, but because of what she did and what she stood for and how vocal she was about this issue. But you know, it's, it is, it's, it's the converging of all these different pieces, what the work that she was doing, trying to continue that, try to finish the job, right? But also once you've seen, once you've met so many people, heard people's stories, seen the suffering, especially, you know, in Lesotho and Botswana, where I've seen it most, um, there is, there is, there is a way out of it. If there's a way out of it and we know there's a solution, I'm like a typical guy. I just want to help fix things. <laughs> yeah.